It's a big rockin' diehard movie. You go looking for trouble. What is it always you seem to find you? Hi, I'm Ben from Men's Fitness, and I'm here today with Jai Courtney, who stars as Jack McLean in A Good Day to Die Hard. Jai, thanks for taking the time to talk Thank to us. Thank you. Um, now, you're clearly in, in great shape for the film, as you have been in previous roles from Faro and Spartacus onwards. Is there anything specific, though, that you had to do to get in, to, in the gym to get prepared for this role? No, nothing specific. And to be honest, I, it wasn't ever even a, a discussion that was had with, with production. It just kind of made sense to me, I think. Um, you know, it was back when I worked on Spartacus in 2009. It was probably the first time I'd ever taken training seriously. And uh, that was about the closest thing to, to torture, I can imagine, doing that, the boot camp for that. And I, um, I've never gone that hardcore since. But uh, look, I think, you know, it's, we all know it's an action film. It's, a, it's that kind of iconic franchise. And, you know, there was, uh, there was no expectation upon me, but it, it made sense to, to, to get in shape, to play the part, definitely. I mean, is it something, having been through all that with Spartacus, is it something you've kind of made an effort to keep up over the years? Yeah, it then? depends. I kind of swing in and out of it. I, I'm actually like, you know, I'm surprisingly not a real like gym junkie, but um, you know, it's a necessary part of, of uh, you know, the kind of world in which I operate, I guess. And um, yeah, it's important. I like to you know, take care of myself, certainly. You got a plan? Not really. I kind of thought we'd just wing it, you know, run in, guns blazing, make it up as we go. What is this, a pirate gun? Yeah, gold score, man. Like you, right? All right, let's go kill some scumbags. Say you got downtime in between films, you would go to the gym, or, or any sport for that matter, what, what would be a kind of typical weekly workout what would you do uh it really varies honestly because uh i have such a short attention span that i, I get bored of things so quickly so um i kind of like every time i come back to training we'll we'll sort of have a different approach and sometimes it's about getting in the gym and, and hitting the weights and really like developing a program and doing that and um you know sometimes it's just about getting out on a daily basis and, and going for a run I mean, I find nutrition is probably the most important thing. And uh, I think that that contributes more um, than, than most people kind of probably imagine it does. I mean, a lot of guys work out a lot and just kind of eat what they want. And I've, I've had more success being careful with uh, what I put in my body and, and not having to go so hardcore with the, uh, with the training. So what kind of, what approach do you take to your nutrition? I mean, it's, it comes back to moderation, but it's about, you know, putting those things in your body at the right time. And, you know, you can still allow to have indulgences. I mean, you know, I, I'm way too fond of, uh, of pizza and beer and chocolate to ever kind of rule those things out altogether. But, you know, you kind of just, you know, it's about making those things count and, um, you know, just start uh, yeah, cutting out unnecessary things at the, at the wrong time. You remember the last time we talked just before you went away? Ah, oh, no. No, no, no. You're not going to open up to me right before we die. No, that's not your thing, John. What's my thing? Killing bad guys. That's your thing. You're not going to die today. film obviously is full of great action scenes throughout. Were there any that were sort of particularly physically challenging and tough to go through? Oh yeah, geez. I mean, the whole kind of thing was like a, it was like a marathon in a sense. And uh, we really had to pace ourselves through it. Um, standout stuff physically, I mean, it's a tough question, man. I, I, it's, it's hard to kind of pull it apart in that sense. Um, but it was, it was an exhausting five months, that's for sure. We, we had to work hard. Any sort of injuries on set or anything? Nothing you... too bad. I mean, minor cuts and bruises, plenty of those. You, you tend to get knocked about a bit in this sort of movie, but uh, they, they keep it safe and, and we managed to escape relatively unscathed. Get out of the way! I 
knock, knock. Obviously, your first two sort of major film roles, you've had a fist fight with Tom Cruise, fired a load of guns with Bruce Willis. It, it must have been quite surreal uh, as an experience. Totally surreal, man. You said it. I mean, it's yeah, it's it's been uh, it's been crazy. And when I kind of think about it like that, even now, it's it seems a little bizarre to be in this position. But um, I'm just trying to work hard and, and make the most of it, I guess. You're gonna shoot your own father? Shouldn't be here, John. Give me your phone. It's a two-year contract and I phone. Did you feel any sort of pressure coming in? How did you deal with it? Or yeah, look, it, it was it was definitely there, but I um I think I just needed to let go of that, and that's what I tried to do in a sense. I, I realized pretty soon that uh, worrying about the pressure of of entering this franchise and you know who I was going up against and all that sort of stuff wasn't going to aid me in in you know creating a good performance. So. Um, it's just about approaching the role like I would any other and uh, and getting prepared. You know, the, the Russian dialogue was a, a big part of it for me and, you know, getting in shape and, you know, doing uh, rehearsals for the stunts and that, all that sort of stuff and just taking it on and, and having fun with it. And that's exactly what we did. These guys made it really easy to, uh, to get involved. Welcome to Moscow. <laughs> Nobody's gonna die today.